Hi, I'm Sebastian and I'm going to show you how to commission a PSAP3 on the example of a PSREC actuator. What we have here is the PSREC. <clears throat> it's uh, opened and the PSAP3 is already mounted. The potentiometer is mounted as well. So <clears throat> we are good to go on that side. Um, I have here the set value. Here we go. And I have here the measurement point for the feedback signal. Um, I wired both already. Um, the set value on the X23 for milliamps in and ground and the feedback signal for um, voltage out and ground on the X22. Um, I wired already as well the um, power supply for <clears throat> plus and ground uh, and, and, um, and the PE over here. Um, but I did not connect it yet to the power supply. So what are we going to do first? The, the, the first thing is to do, um, you, first you have to adjust the mechanical end stops down here. I don't do that here because I don't have a valve, um, obviously. So the next step would be to adjust the limit switches, which are here for the open position and here the lower one for the closed position. Um, you can do that either with a tool like that or you can do it with a screwdriver when turning here you can you can use that as a lever in both directions. So move the move the hand wheel to each direction and set the actuator, uh, set the micro switches accordingly. You can hear this noise, this clicking when achieving the limit. So. Push the wheel, push the hand knob down to have it working more easy and then turn into the limit. In this case, it is the open limit or the open position. Okay, if you have that done, then we are going to do the next things. Um, the next step is to initially set up the uh, potentiometers that we have here. Um, please use the sensitivity on a middle value. So that would be low sensitivity, that would be a high sensitivity and we put it to the middle. And put the range the stroke and the start to the counterclockwise maximum. Just check it if I did it right. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so now we're good to go. What we're going to do then is apply the minimum amps to the set value and supply the actuator with voltage. You will now see that the green LED for function is working properly and at the moment the actuator is looking for the closed position. It's important to hear the clicking noise when the actuator is driving to the closed position. We can do that again
So now it's driving close here. There you listen to the clicking of the micro switch of the limit switch. Um, the next thing to do is to adjust the potentiometer of the actuator with the clutch, which is here, to the maximum and uh, to the minimum voltage, which is zero. So we're at the minimum here and we're good to go there. So the next thing to do is to at the uh, to adjust the start potentiometer clockwise until the open LED is not burning anymore. So I adjust start clockwise. Till the close, sorry, it's the close LED till the close LED is not lightning anymore. Here we go. Okay, the next thing to do is to apply the maximum to apply the maximum set value the actuator is running to the open position and you should hear the clicking of the micro switch in the end position yeah that worked okay now we have to adjust the stroke till we have the feedback signal at 10 volt. So I'm turning the <clears throat> screwdriver and the potentiometer clockwise till we achieve 10 volt. Perfect. The next thing to do is to turn the range potentiometer till the LED for the open signal is turned off clockwise as well. Here we go. Now we're good to go. The um, actuator is commissioned. What you should do then as well is uh, to drive the end limits and the middle position to check if um, the adjustments are fine here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drive to the middle position and to check the feedback signal, which is now at 5.2 volt DC, so it is almost at 5 volt. And now I'm driving to the closed position. And you have almost zero volt there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drive to the middle position from the other direction as well. And I think now you have the situation that you are struggling or the, that you might struggle with, um, that the actuator 
stops too early for your applications. What you can do then is you adjust the sensitivity of the actuator on the on this sensitivity potentiometer. So if you're going more in that direction clockwise, then you're um, then 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 the positioner will be more sensitive. And if you would do it counterclockwise, the actuator would be less sensitive. So what you see now is we're at four, at 4.9 volts. And if we drive the actuator to the open position again, then it cuts off nicely. And if we go to the middle position again from this direction, then it's quite accurate there as well. And now let's go to the closed direction. So the actuator is still running properly here. And it cuts off at 0.1 volt DC as well. And what we're going to do now is we're going to the middle position from this direction again. And now we are at 4.9 volt DC, which is more accurate than we were before. I hope that helps, that helps you commissioning the actuator. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. We will be um, glad to help and to support you here. And um, yeah, good luck and good success with the commissioning. All the best. Cheers.